someone personally dropped this message that you can see on your screen if you came in september or maybe before the end of 2023 you came in as a student and you still have your dependent outside the country that you want to bring in the truth is this There have been so many things going on with the uk immigration system we all know that right okay so the last couple of days now there is this announcement that was made like them trying to tell us the implementation dates so on today's video i want to tell us some of these things like the ones that affect us most yeah and the people that are going to be affected welcome back to my channel my name is blessing and Moses of blessed blessed channel okay so on this channel i film content on how you can migrate to the uk life generally in the uk any good things that you can think of that has to do with the uk those are the information that i share on this channel so if this sounds very interesting to you please do wait to subscribe to the channel and also you know hit on notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload new videos there's something different i want to bring in on today's video because you find out that i keep hammering or i keep talking about this particular set of people that's people that are already here in the uk and please do not blame me for that okay that's because i've had so many people come to my inbox they are like oh blessing what do you think we are here in the uk together what do you think about this okay most people are going to be affected yeah that is the truth people that may likely switch from you know from either student visa to skilled worker visa or even the care worker visa but thank god you remember the last video i did a comparison between this first update that they brought in december first of december and the one that they brought this january ending okay we kind of compared it too and when you check you discover that on this recent one they did not specify that particular clause that stay with okay so because of that we just assume or we conclude that that means that people that are already here in the uk can continue staying with their dependent even after 11th of march 2024 okay but then what about the overseas people that that plan coming over to the uk to work and all that guys it's because of you guys that I'm doing this video. So those of you that are outside the UK, yeah, that may likely want to come over to the UK to work. Maybe you have done your interview and you are just hoping that your company releases your, you know, your COS so you can apply for the visa. Yes, guys, I think the best thing you can do is for you to continue chasing with your company to quickly do this before 11th of March, okay? So you'll be able to, you know, to move in with your family, okay? Because after 11th of March, once you have received your COS and you are not applying for your visa after 11th of March, you can actually come alone. Yeah, you'll be able to move. You can come and do your work. But the, the, the bad news there is that you may likely or you may not be able to move with your family. I hope that is clear. Then another part is for people that are already here in the UK also. Maybe you came in September. I have had a couple of people come to my DM. Even people that I know, you know, in course of normal discussion, they're like, oh, blessing. What do you think? What's your own opinion? Your own personal opinion about this? Someone personally dropped this message that you can see on your screen my own opinion about all this is this if you came in september or maybe before the end of 2023 you came in as a student and you still have your dependent outside the country that you want to bring in the truth is this if you if you can listen to this particular video okay even if i'm not i don't know if i'll be able to play this clip for you but if i'm not there's a particular video from the uk home secretary okay where he was asked what about people that are in the uk already guys if you have seen that video drop your opinion on the comment section there's a video that was flying around i think sometime december ending you know, or so where he was asked what about people that are already here in the uk does it mean that these new laws both students not being able to move in and all that are they going to affect them guys if you remember his response was that in the uk immigration system we look forward to you know moving forward I, there's, a, there's a way he put that english he said we look forward we don't look backwards okay that's to say that people that are already here in the uk maybe you came like on a student visa on a work visa you may likely not be affected that's to say that you can actually bring in your dependents before the end of your course okay you came in as a student okay talking about people that came in september last year so it's not going to be a problem if you have not brought in your 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 dependents yet and you are kind of worried guys i don't think it's going to be a problem i think you should be able to do that since you're already in the uk before the implementation of the new rules i don't even understand the same thing applies to 
people that are already here in the UK on a skilled workers visa, okay, that want to bring in their family also because of this March 11th rule. Yeah, some persons have been asking, are you sure that after this day, since I'm already here in the UK, will I still be able to bring in my dependent after this day? Like the Home Office Secretary said, they look forward, they don't look backwards, okay? So that's to say that people that are already here in the UK may likely not be affected, okay? So if you are on this visa, I think they specified it even on that new rules, okay? They said if you're already on this visa before this date, okay? You should be able to bring in your, your your families okay drop your own opinion because this is my own personal opinion that's the way i understood everything one thing that i will still tell you is that you know this uk immigration thing is not something that we just fold our hands and say oh that is it okay let's just relax guys if you if you can if you have started making out plans to bring in your dependent i think this is the right time for you to do that okay you can as well just hasten up with that okay because you know these immigration things it can change anytime okay that is just the truth to be on the safe side i think you can just try and you know do these things and let them come in then you have your full family with you your mind will be settled and all that but outside that i think people that are already here in the uk May likely not be affected my own opinion then the second part is about this threshold you know the threshold that they talked about i think they said uh, for skilled worker visa yeah that the threshold will now be after that date in april it's going to be increased from twenty six thousand pounds to thirty eight thousand seven hundred pounds guys what it means is this if you switch your visa from a student visa to skilled worker visa okay after that date, that's after the date that they announced in April, okay, you have to meet that threshold. You should be able to get a job that they will pay you more than £38,700, okay? Even their own people, UK citizens, okay, people that want to, you know, to move in their family will still have to meet that threshold. Guys, but there is another clause, something that people have been asking also on that particular part, okay? Does it mean that uh, it's just, for instance, if a husband is going to switch, it doesn't mean that it's that particular person's salary that they are going to measure to meet that criteria that that's the threshold yeah or is it going to be household income that's the husband and wife's income my own opinion and most of the inquiries i've done research that i've done also has come out to prove that it's going to be for you know for the family that's the family income yeah because why i say this anything that you do here in the uk they always ask for your family income if you want to get an accommodation, they will tell you what is the family income. They do not ask what is the income of the husband or what is the income of the wife. It's always the family income. It's not only one person. Because the truth remains that before you can find one person that will be able to receive that kind of salary at the end of the year, it's very, very hard. If you are under NHS, for you to be able to receive that, maybe from like band 6 and above, but like somebody in band 3, band 4, receiving over 38,000 pounds, I don't think that's correct, okay? But, but the one that is going to affect or the people that it may likely affect much is, like I said, the British citizens, like people that want to bring in their family. You got married or you get married to a non-British person, okay? And you want to bring in that person. You know, it's only you, so of course, it's going to be your, your own threshold that they will check. So guys, this is the update that I decide to just bring to you guys so that you still know. I think this can... You know answer some of your questions please do not forget to give this video some thumbs up share this video to your friends your family people that you think may benefit from it because you know everybody has been on asking so many questions about these new rules okay so you sharing this video you may be helping someone also thank you again for watching and i remain blessing a mozuzu of blessed blessing channels thank you bye